get out of this sweaty ass lobby, dude. Ooh. Yeah, if that's not a mouse and keyboard, please tell me what it is. It's 1818 yeah, uh, on a controller. Yeah. Whatever you say, bud. Dude, that guy genuinely believed that I was on mouse and keyboard. Or... I'm just saying, anybody that can't recognize the difference between controller to KBAM, and also the KBAM thing versus uh, controller players on Call of Duty, it's not that big of a discrepancy, in my opinion. Like, when I get into those PC lobbies, I don't notice that big of a difference. I get sweaties regardless. I'll give it if those PC players actually have been playing Call of Duty for all these years and then are, like, hopping over onto this shit, like a lot of the controller players have, then, you know, I'd be a little bit worried for that with, with how good they are with just this small amount of time that they've had but i mean i'm literally better on controller than i am on keyboard and mouse i spent a while trying to improve on keyboard and mouse i did improve but i'm nowhere near the same level these guys literally just stood on top of that hard point for the entirety of the point that's why dude that wilder fury fight last night i was literally on the edge of my fucking seat i was te technically i was actually standing up so ever get so invested in something that you're watching on tv something that just like worries you so badly that you somehow feel like you're involved yeah, that's how this felt because i knew at any moment regardless of how much tyson fury was actually dominating and was looking like he was gonna win and all this other shit like past that but i knew still at any moment if he lands night night i was sitting there like man yeah he can outbox him for as many rounds as he wants but i'm just saying one punch we've seen the fucking anime man one fucking punch puts this guy into a different fucking century i keep swapping between fucking sleight of hand fmj and and uh, focus on this class, and I don't know which one to do. I think focus is probably the most sturdy one, but I can't stand the reload times on this shit. I really can't. This lobby's sweaty as fuck. Even if I do, like, just lose straight out, I really wish that uh, they would kill me more. Literally, just one time, this dude, even if he's rocked, falling backwards, he could just throw a fucking hook out there, and if his chin's there, it's over. It's fucking over. It's terrifying. It's done. It's, it's fucking complete. I knew at any moment that shit could end, so I just, I was nervous the entire fucking time but uh basically for what was it seven rounds for basically seven rounds i'd say rounds one and two i think round two went to wilder if i remember correctly uh but then as the fights went into the third fourth fifth sixth seventh uh just fury ended up taking it over he used his size to really lean on it i feel like for as somebody like wilder that's six seven uh huge stature 230 fucking pounds an average of like 210 to 230 he came in heavier on this fight so might have been a bit more tired uh Punches, though, probably even scarier than they were before. Skin is ridiculous. No way you're real. I'm trying to explain a fucking fight and everything. I'm trying to put some emotion into it, but everybody wants to sweat their fucking asses off. Not happening. Stop slide canceling and jumping at people. Did they buff this Uzi or some shit? Notice more and more people using this Uzi. Ah, man, I don't want to be in the same fucking lobby. Do you not understand that? Last night, I'm watching it on this fucking screen, and I'm literally sitting here like this, just staring at him. I don't know what this exposure is. I don't know why the fuck I'm so white, but I am. I don't know how to get rid of this fucking exposure. I've twisted all these little things around on here. I don't understand how to get it to go away. By the way, thanks for all the love on the video yesterday. I uh, got a bunch of comments and shit for a bunch of really special fucking class. I'll say. It's a Sunday. My whole fucking body hurts for some reason. I don't know why. Usually my body doesn't hurt that much unless I actually do something. But last night I, I did a couple things, like made my video, did a couple things, watched the fight. Then I went to bed and for whatever reason I woke up like I was somehow in the fucking fight. By the seventh round, uh, Wilder was getting beat up so bad. I don't know if he had an injury to his leg. At one point when he got knocked down, he got hit like in his ear slash back of the head slash back of the ear area and a lot of people were calling that an illegal blow blah 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 but that's literally one of if not the same exact punch that knocked down tyson in their first fight it just kind of happens just a left hook into a straight or some shit like that if the person gets hit with the first one or they're trying to avoid it and they are anticipating a second punch coming a lot of people lean down a certain way and when wilder leaned forward he threw his punch and then it hit him back there it's not like he's aiming for the back of his head the guy is not like a dirty fighter or some shit like that some people are trying to twist it into that if you move and your head gets hit in the back of the head and dude clearly was not just aiming for the back of your skull i mean so he ended up getting hit like in the back of his head slash ear his ear was like bleeding or some shit if you know anything about like ear infections or you got like any any kind of ear canal issue you know that your ear affects your equilibrium a lot a lot of people end up getting like vertigo and all sorts of weird and crazy shit involved with your ears it's really really surprising 
amazing how bad your equilibrium is off when you can't hear correctly. When, you know, one of your eardrums are bursted or whatever the fuck. I've been using the AX50 because few other people and uh, honestly, like, I'm sitting here watching people use a whole bunch of different shit. And I know that whole argument about what is and isn't a fucking sniper rifle and shit is probably tired and I'm probably part of the reason for that tired argument. More so, I just have a problem with the fucking carbine, man. That the carbine is just so... Any sniper that still plays, you know what it's like to sit there and try to use a fucking AX50 and have to play into somebody that's just spamming their carbine. Like, it doesn't feel good when I have to sit here and fire my gun, you know, once every second and a half. I fire one time and if I manage to miss, the guy's able to fire off three more times before I'm able to fire off a second shot. It just feels annoying and cheesy. So that's why I go after that in particular. Yes, the car is also fast, but it's not nearly as ridiculous as that. It's like going into a 1v1, expecting it to be like 1v1 intervention back on MW2, but the dude's pulling out a fucking 50 cal instead. Now, obviously, you're not on minuscule health and they get their hit markers and shit like that, whatever, but still. It's really spammy. It's cheesy. Everybody knows that. Now, I absolutely understand it from gameplay standpoint. On this game, this game is fucking brutal against snipers, so I get it trying to use the cheesiest thing possible, but it is super super not fun at all to play against whenever you're sniping against them and you're not just, you know, conforming to the whole thing. My most used gun, my most kills already is, are still the carbine and that bothers the ever-living shit out of me. I can't stand it. But it is arguably the best quote, sniper rifle in the fucking game in that sense. If you really want to consider it that just because you can put a sniper scope on it, yeah, it, it is. It's super spammy. You're able to get really consistent with it if you're able to get your shot down with the thing, you know, land in the upper chest all the time. You can condition yourself to do that. People have done that for years. Ooh, where'd you come from? Just more of an honor thing, man. Go ahead and use whatever the fuck you want. It's just like, man, I, I just really hope you wouldn't feel good about fucking just spamming a carbine on somebody that's actually trying to use a real sniper rifle. That's all. That's all I'm saying. As far as your clips go and your montages and shit, do what you want. That has nothing to do with me. I'm the last person that'll sit there and gatekeep a fucking montage. At least now, anyway. Like, I, I know how everything is with the montages and their, you know, how popular they are and all this other shit. I know. R98, I can let go of at least a little bit. Uh, unless it doesn't have a scope on it. Jason, just stop. Just just let people use it the fuck they want. Yeah, his, uh, his ear got ruptured, got rocked a couple times. His feet just were not under him. He was looking like really groggy, tired, exhausted, just all sorts of beat up, man. His fucking eyes were starting to swell and he was getting out struck by like 30 or 40 strikes at that point. It's just his, his corner ended up throwing in the towel. Now he wanted to go out on his shield. He was probably pissed at his corner for it. But honestly, man, like they could have really, I'm not saying you were getting beat up that bad to where it's just like, oh my God, he could have fucking died. But genuinely, man, you, you never know. If this dude just kept getting punched in the head and shit, like they could have saved his life. They, they really could have. And sure, yeah, it's not a very common thing to fucking die inside of the ring or whatever. Nobody wants that to happen. But clearly, their corner saw something that was just like, Deontay, you, you just, you're not looking right, man. I can't keep letting you take this kind of punishment. I know that that's like a big blow to your ego and your pride, especially when you're somebody like Wilder, where you're just used to crushing everybody in your fucking path. You know that they're warriors, but that's even more pride right there. The amount of warriors you have crushed in your path one after another they all fucking fall and then to be made to feel like you're small and then your corner gave up on you you're getting beat up so bad that they had to throw in the towel like that's tough to deal with inside you know i'm sure that he's still dealing with it right now it's it's for his own safety man like listen no, it's not like anybody's gonna come up to wilder and be like ha ha look you got your ass beat you fucking loser no, ha, ha. no one's gonna do that on the street bro you're still gonna fucking murder anybody that walks up to you it, it, no one is gonna say anything to you. They can meme all they want, but at the end of the day, he will never meet a soul that ever said or did anything like that. He wouldn't meet a soul. Shit, I never met a hater at an event. Imagine somebody that's actually fucking scary. I'm not comparing myself to a boxing superstar, but you know what I'm saying. To put it in, into perspective here, I've never met a hater in my life. I've never had someone come up to me and tell me how much they hated my videos. If anything, I've had somebody that has come up to me and said, hey man, used to watch your videos a lot. Don't really watch them anymore i play a different game blah 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 that's the most i get these people that have tweeted shit at me and everything that i've never met any a single one of those in real life and if i have and they did tweet at me they shook my fucking hand it's just not like that in real life so wilder 
obviously you're probably not watching this fucking video but fuck him man yeah this contest wasn't as close but here's the thing the thing that made it close before was the fact that he actually nearly fucking murdered him with that one knockdown so i just felt like that could have happened at any moment but he was getting beat the fuck up uh he wanted to go out on his shield but like man his corner threw in the towel and he was kind of pissed about it but i'm sure you know recollecting himself and everything but they're, they're just protecting him man there's no reason for him to take more damage it just isn't So sad about it, man. I'm so sad. Uh, there should be an update soon, and hopefully we're gonna have something about Warzone pretty soon here. Yeah, and also yesterday I almost completely lost my middle fingernail. Yeah, yesterday on my middle finger I managed to literally bend half of the nail off of the nail bed. That hurt really bad.